Hello guys, I'm Reebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Today we'll be discussing about tuples in Python. So firstly, what is a tuple? Similar to list, tuples also help in storing a sequence of elements, but the only difference is that the elements of the tuple cannot be changed or modified once it has been created because tuples are immutable objects in Python. You can always prefer to use tuples when working with fixed length sequences. So basically, there are two types in which you can create tuples. The first one is by using the tuple method. Tuple one is equal to tuple of So this is a tuple created by using the tuple method. Now print the tuple. Now let's run this. So the tuple has been printed. Now the second way to go about it is simply give the tuple name and equal to round braces. So this is an empty tuple. Now let's try to add one value inside it. Yeah. So whenever you're adding a single element to a tuple, always remember to add a trailing comma after it. Otherwise it would consider it to be a string. Print. So the single element got printed and guys a tuple is capable of storing data of different types. So now let's add some more values to it. So this is a tuple consisting of a character, a floating value and an integer value. So till now, if you have noticed, I've been creating the tuples by enclosing the elements within round braces. But you can also create these tuples without round braces. But I would say that it is good practice to always enclose within round brackets for readability. And guys, you can also nest one tuple inside another. So now let me create one more tuple here. As you can see, tuple 3 is called as the nested tuple as the elements inside it are both tuples itself. Suppose if you want to access the elements of the tuple, then accessing a tuple is similar to that of accessing a list. That is by using the slicing operator. Now let's access the elements of tuple 1. Now Let's access the second element from tuple 1. So the second element can be accessed by the first index. So we got the second element from the tuple 1. And then since tuples are immutable, you cannot make any changes or do modifications to it. But suppose if one of the elements of the tuple is of the mutable data type, then let's try to make changes to it. 
Now let us create a tuple that consists of a list say 1, 2, 3 and uh, character maybe and an integer. Now let us try to change the first element of the list to a. So, the first element can be accessed by using 0 and inside it we need to access 1. So, for that let us give one more 0 and equal to a and then print print tuple. So, it has changed to 1 from a because lists are mutable data types and guys you can also reassign values to your tuple. So, now let us see how to do it. Use the same tuple name and reassign values to it. Let us give Let us give some random names and then print it so the newly assigned values has been displayed and finally you can delete a tuple by using the del keyword del tuple and then try printing it name error name tuple is not been defined because the tuple has been deleted and guys we all know how to concatenate one tuple with another tuple that is by using the plus operator but you can also concatenate consecutive elements in a tuple so, let us see how to do it. So, in this tuple after concatenating consecutive elements the result would be like this python is comma is i comma high level. So, here firstly consider only the first words in each element. You can see that there are only three words python is and high and the third word level is being ignored. So, now let us slice only the first three words by using the slicing operator print Now, let us run and check this. So, the first three words have been sliced and again if you observe the second words in each element there are only three words that is is, high and level and the first word python has been ignored. So, now let us slice only the last three elements print tuple or tuple. So, we got the last three elements from the tuple and now in order to concatenate these two slice ranges let us introduce a lambda functions to add these. Lambda i comma j colon i plus j comma write the first slice range comma the second slice range where 
I denotes the first slice range and J denotes the second slice range. Now that we have defined the lambda function, let's introduce a map function to apply this lambda function over these slice ranges. This is the basic syntax of map function. Now let's replace this function with lambda function. And then let's replace this iterables with these slice ranges. And then to make this as a tuple, use the tuple method, tuple of, and then finally let's assign this to a variable named result and after that let's print the tuple before concatenation so here the tuple must be converted to string using the str method just for the purpose of printing and then print after concatenation result. Now click on run. Now let me give some space here. As you can see, the consecutive elements in a tuple have been concatenated. So that's all about tuples. We'll be learning about strings in the next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned and see you all in the next. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.